So by now you've probably seen our first two videos where we broke down all of the HomeKit features in iOS 10 and watchOS 3 and walk through the full Home app. Uh, if not, we will definitely link to it in the show notes below. When we shot those videos, we really thought there were going to be some changes throughout the beta process. But actually, all of the HomeKit features and the Home app have been very stable and stayed consistent throughout all of the betas. So I wanted to share with you today what my favorite feature is in iOS 10 for HomeKit, so you can check it out when the official release drops in the coming weeks. So I've been using iOS 10 every day since WWDC, day in and day out. And what I found myself using the most in terms of all the HomeKit features that have been added is the ability to access my devices from Control Center. So you may not realize what Control Center is just from saying that, but this is the menu that you swipe up from the bottom of the screen. So what you're used to seeing there is like your Wi-Fi settings, volume control, music, things like that. In iOS 10, they've broken that down to three separate panes. There's the normal pane you're used to where you do your flashlight and Wi-Fi and all that. There's a separate pane just for music and audio. And then there's a third pane for controlling HomeKit enabled accessories. And this is where you have one button, quick access to control all of your HomeKit accessories. And once you start using this pane, that becomes kind of your default control center. And what's great about it is that you can swipe it up at any time. So even if your phone is locked and you want to turn on a light really quick, you just swipe up, hit the button, and your light is on. You can also control scenes from here too. So if you prefer to control multiple things all at once, um, you can do that from here as well. So it's really quick and easy and really a great way to control all your HomeKit accessories. I'm looking forward to everyone else getting their hands on iOS 10 in the coming weeks as Apple releases it to the general public. If you have any questions about the HomeKit features or the Home app or anything like that, please hit me up in the comments below. Thanks for watching.